Assalamu alaikum. This video will move further with Emerald AI and we will see that uh, what is the line of sight. So here if you can see that uh, we have a zombie and a player and if you go to AI settings and uh, if we go to detection and tags and if you go to detection options then you can see this uh, pinkish circle. Uh, this means that uh, this zombie has this uh, area and if our player is within this area it will detect the player now you can see the player is outside this area so for example we have certain options for that so you can see that we have the uh, detection frequency hit transform and also we have a detection type so here you can see that the trigger is selected and we can also select line of sight so now the enemy can see from his eyes to forward he can't uh, see us to its back so if our enemy is here he will not detect us if our player will be here then he will detect us so you can select line of sight or trigger as well and uh, definitely you can increase or decrease its uh, frequency as well uh, if you want to do so and uh, pick target method is also there closest first detected and random so you can use these options as well so this is about the line of sight also you can see that we have a detection quality you can select low medium high and now you can increase or decrease the field of view as well so for example if we uh, increase the field of view you can see that uh, it is uh, towards the backward as well at the 360 degree okay and if we increase this field of view it uh, controls the field of view after your AI has been damaged okay so that is used for damage purpose so I will just make the defaults and uh, detection distance so this is the distance and you can see that in the uh, we can uh, decrease or increase the distance from this tab okay so I think the default distance is fine and uh, also you have expanded distance uh, detection distance as well and after that we have detection uh, distance, uh, distance types where we have a target distance and starting distance as well so we'll use the starting uh, target distance in this case chase distance uh, we have this 30 as you can increase or decrease the chase distance as well so avoidance options use object avoidance so if uh, you want to avoid your enemy from certain objects you can uh, do so so you can select yes and here you can select the layers which you want to uh, avoid okay so it's up to you uh, one more interesting thing uh, is uh, the events here so for example uh, if we move uh, towards our AI settings and in AI settings uh, we have a lot of options and uh, the events is a very nice option here so for example you want to add some uh, event on certain uh, section for example on start when the game will be start or on enabled event uh, on player detection event when enemy will find the player we can add some animation or some any uh, other effect as well we can go to combat tab and on start combat when uh, enemy will start combating with player we can add some events we can add some detection event as well we can add some attack uh, events we can add some damage event and uh, also we can add some heal events and flee events and uh, death events as well so you have a lot of options in events tab under ai settings where you can add events okay so other things you will learn in uh, next videos 
and inside combat actions uh, we have a lot of options here and one option is not in this version which is the alert option so in the last variants uh, you can use the alert option so whenever the player will be in the range of this enemy the enemy will uh, be alert and uh, he can um, uh, you, uh, he can play an animation or any other Im uh, effect we can uh, display on that enemy so now if you play the game you will see that uh, uh, the enemy will not detect us hopefully uh, enemy towards which side uh, okay towards that side I think so if we move and if we will be in the range of enemy you can see now if we will in the range of enemy he will detect us and then he will attack us Okay, so you can see we are died and in next video we will move further and uh, we will learn about the sounds as well.